Good morning and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gadget Garage. In today's video, we're going to be taking the Engway L20 2.0 on a range test. And this is going to be a range test specifically in pedal assist modes. And then next weekend, we will follow this up uh, with a range test using throttle only to see what kind of range we can squeeze out of this bike. Now, if you're going to be riding your bike, you know, short range, long range, whatever it is, I always recommend, you know, taking the right tools so in the event you you get a flat or run into an issue uh, you're not stranded uh, so a couple things that I bring of course is a tire patch kit uh, as well as uh, this fix a flat type stuff uh, and an electric pump uh, that way if I run into any issues if I get a flat hopefully I don't uh, I can actually uh, service the bike while I'm out on the road. Anyways, we're gonna jump right into this range test, so hang tight. Now in today's test, we're gonna be riding more than likely in pedal assist level two and three, so anywhere from 12 to 15 miles an hour, possibly um, mode four. Uh, we'll see how things go, but that'll give you a, you know, a good idea of uh, the range capability with more or less average riding. All right, so we are officially at one mile on this trip, and I'll be sure to check in with you here every couple miles to give you an idea of where we're at and where we are uh, with battery percentage. Uh, this display does have battery bars. Uh, I don't see an option uh, for battery percentage, so we'll have to rely on the bars, and of course there are five bars. And if you're curious, pedal assist level two takes you to about 11 to 12 miles an hour very comfortably. Uh, once you get into level three, it's about 15 miles an hour. Level four will take you about 20, 21 miles an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up to pedal assist level three uh, for some of these longer straightaways. And here we go. All right, here's our first set of bridge crossings over the canals. Now these tires do have a recommended pressure between 25 and 43 PSI. For this ride, I have it set to 34 PSI, both in the front and the rear. And if you are keeping track, we are officially at three miles on this range test. Still got five out of five battery bars. All right, and here we are riding back off the beaten path. Uh, as I mentioned in the overview video, uh, this bike you know, does really well. Uh, on hard packed dirt and light gravel. Uh, so, you know, if you want to take it off the beaten path, go right ahead. This thing does a really good job. All right, so today, just so, you know, so you're fully aware, I will be tracking this ride, of course, using the LCD screen here, uh, but also uh, Garmin GPS. That'll give us an idea of, uh, you know, total distance traveled, time traveled, uh, average speed and then you know more accurate uh, distance data so uh, at the end of the ride and when I'm putting this video together I'll be sure to include all those stats uh, so that you're aware of you know exactly what this bike's capabilities are all right we are officially at five miles on this ride and we've still got five out of five battery bars. Now, one thing I really like about this bike is that it's, it's got plenty of power. I think it's got more power than you need, which is always a good thing, because if you're in those situations, you know, where you need that extra boost, it's nice to have 750 watts of nominal power and 1125 peak watts. So uh, I think I mentioned in my overview video, but uh, uh, with this particular bike, you know, if you're cruising around, for example, in pedal assist mode two, and you switch over to three, well, you're gonna get a boost for sure. Uh, it kicks in uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so just keep that in mind. When you go from three to four, it's a similar story. Uh, so plenty of power on this bike, and we'll absolutely be putting that to the test tomorrow when I take this to Phoenix's South Mountain Preserve to see how this does with 2,000 feet in elevation gain. It's eight and a half miles up and eight and a half miles down. So we'll get out there bright and early for silent Sundays, which means that the road up the mountain is closed to automobile traffic. Now stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, I'll definitely be uh, publishing that video as well as others in the coming weeks. All right, that was our second bridge crossing. Uh, along the canal. Now one thing about this uh, power line trail is it attracts a lot 
of bicyclists and runners because this thing literally goes forever and it's got huge uninterrupted stretches which is really nice now if you are curious what the hill climbability is on this Nguay L22.0 we are about to go over a pedestrian bridge which was built a few years ago goes over the train tracks and it's pretty steep so uh, we are in pedal assist level three and let's see how the bike does 750 watts of power I am pedaling it is maintaining power really well still over 14 almost 15 miles an hour coming up this thing so uh, definitely plenty of power in reserve so it'll be exciting to see how this thing does tomorrow at uh, Phoenix's at South Mountain Preserve, which of course are those mountains on the horizon. It's about a 40 mile drive from where I live and we'll definitely be putting this thing to the test. So now we are at about eight miles into this ride. We still got five out of five battery bars and we've been riding for about 45 minutes so far. So. No issues uh, on this ride. Uh, so far, everything's nice and smooth. So, uh, couldn't be happier at the moment. And we are clear. Right now, we've got these really nice straightaways. And uh, for quite a while now, we've been in pedal assist level three. So, uh, cruising around about 15 miles an hour, which I think is a really comfortable uh, speed for this bike. All right, so we are officially at 10 miles on this ride and the battery indicator showing five out of five bars. And we've been riding for approximately 53 minutes. So yeah, looks like we got plenty of juice in the tank. Now, of course, every mile we ride out is a mile that we have to ride back in. So, you know, as we go, I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on this battery meter because one thing I don't want to do I just manually pedal this bike back. Uh, so far, I found this bike to be, you know, relatively comfortable manually pedaling it around eight to 10 miles an hour on completely flat ground. But anything faster than that, you're uh, gonna be putting some heavy work in. Uh, this bike seat uh, is, I would say it's relatively comfortable. You know, it's definitely not as comfortable as a Cloud9 seat. Uh, I might see if uh, I have a way of getting that on here. I know this bike does have that, uh, you know, folding mechanism on the seat to help with the battery. So uh, I'll probably tinker around with that. But so far, you know, uh, it is more comfortable, I would say, uh, than most stock bike seats. All right, so for those of you keeping track, we are at 13 miles. We've been riding for an hour and seven minutes and we still got five out of five battery bars. All right, so we've got a new development here. We're officially at 14 miles and we've also lost a battery bar. It's about time. <laughs> uh, we are four out of uh, five battery bars right now. So uh, we've been riding around an hour and 12 minutes. So 14 miles, loss of one battery bar. Uh, you know, we'll see how we end up here. I'll probably turn around, ride it around three battery bars, uh, you know. One thing I'll say about this, you know, this is a 52 volt system that means that you're gonna have less voltage sag uh, as you start wearing down the battery so you'll be able to maintain more power longer than let's say a 48 volt system so just want to call that out so, you know I'll, I'll see how this rides I've primarily been riding 48 volt uh, e-bikes and so uh, you know we'll see how it works out here on the 52 volt system but right now plenty of power no issues all right, so interesting thing. We started our ride today in Gilbert, Arizona. We drove through Chandler and we are officially in Tempe. And I would imagine if we keep going, we will be in Phoenix, Arizona. So crossing multiple cities on our range test today on the Nguay L20 2.0. And if you're curious, we're at 15 miles and four out of five battery bars. Nice little protected area so we don't get hit in the head with a golf ball. That's nice. That would definitely make for a interesting range test. Getting pelted in the head with a golf ball. <laughs> All right, so we are crossing some train tracks here. And I think we have officially 
lost the canal path. I will have to take a look uh, at my uh, maps here on my phone to see where it is we are. Uh, it looks like maybe the path continues forward up, up ahead. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll have to check it out. Well, <clears throat> the street signs say Western Canal Path. All right, we'll use the throttle to get going here. And here we go. All right, so we are on this zigzagging path right now. I will probably turn around here soon because, you know, we're on, you know, a little bit of a bike path, walking path here, but uh, I think, uh, you know, we missed the canal continuation of the canal path so anyways all right so we are at about 17 miles right now i actually uh turned onto the tempe highline canal path uh you know so i've made a couple turns at this point so hopefully i don't get turned around uh on my way back all right you know what we're gonna go ahead and turn around here so we are at 17 miles and uh we will work our way back. All right, so just took a little bit of a pit stop. Swapped out the uh, batteries on the GoPro. Got a little bit of water. And uh, we are officially at about 19 miles, hour and 40 minutes into this trip. And we've still got four out of five bars on the battery remaining. If you're curious, you know, what the power levels feel like, you know, same as they were when we first started. Uh, so just as peppy as it was, haven't noticed any, uh, you know, voltage sag or loss of power or anything like that. You know, generally speaking on bikes and scooters and things like that, um, you know, as you deplete the battery, you get less and less output. Uh, and on some devices, it's more noticeable at the halfway mark uh, than others. And there we go. We are right back on our canal path. So familiar territory. So we are at the 20 mile mark. Uh, hour 45 minutes into this trip, four out of five bars remaining. One thing I'll tell you that I really like about this bike is that, uh, you know, let's say for example, you take a little bit of a break, off on the side of the road, 10, 15 minutes, the bike powers off. When you power it back on, uh, the trip readout uh, continues where it left off. It doesn't reset to zero. So that is absolutely a positive in my book. And we are officially back on track now. There was actually a canal like crossing, you know, there were, there was a junction of multiple canals and I took the wrong direction and started uh, going, you know, a couple miles the wrong way. So uh, I looked at the map, realized uh, I was not where I need to be. So got turned around and I think we are back on the correct path. It looks familiar, so I think we're good. 24 miles. We've been at it for two hours and seven minutes, and we still are at four out of five bars remaining on the battery. Uh, so far, so good. It is heating up. Had to take another pit stop, get a drink of water, throw my glasses on now that we're kind of riding towards the direction of the sun. And uh, yeah, you know, Hopefully we make it back before it gets too hot. It's supposed to be, I think, 103 degrees today. But as they say, it's a dry heat. Okay, so we've got a new development here. We are 25.4 miles into this ride and we are officially at three out of five bars. So we've lost another bar. All right, so we officially broke the 30 mile mark on this bike. We've got three out of five battery bars remaining. And we've been riding for two hours and 36 minutes. And uh, mostly now in pedal assist level three. So that's about 15 miles an hour. All right, and here is our good friend, the pedestrian bridge. So we are heading back up, pedal assist level three. And it is making it up just as easy as it did on the way out here. So uh, definitely doing a good job of maintaining its power throughout the ride. And we are now at the top. We will coast our way down. We've got our manual brakes here with 180 millimeter rotors. 
we will work our way back down the bridge. All right, here we are in downtown Gilbert. To the right, the Heritage District. This is a great place for restaurants, bars, all that fun stuff. They got some nice ice cream shops out here. Sounds pretty good right about now. Feels like it's a million degrees, but I think it's just probably 80, 90 degrees right now. But this sun is absolutely brutal. All right, here we go. Mmm, smells like they are getting ready for lunchtime. All right, we are officially at 32 miles on this ride. Three out of five bars remaining, and we've been riding for two hours and 46 minutes under this super hot sun. All right, took another little water break. Uh, check the temperature, it is 91 degrees right now. So not terrible, but uh, definitely not uh, enjoyable when in direct sunlight. Going back over the little canal bridge crossing here. You know, here we are riding at pedal assist level three. You can feel the kick when you go to four. Definitely kicks in strong there. Uh, so definitely lots of power in reserve. But uh, we will keep it mostly in level three for the remainder of this ride. All right, quick ride update. We are at a little over 36 miles and we have dropped to two out of five bars. We are three hours, 11 minutes into this ride in uh, pedal assist level three and we are still maintaining just about 15 miles per hour. So now that we're two out of five bars, we're at the bottom half, bottom 40% or so of this battery. So it'll be interesting to see you know, how much more distance we can squeeze out of it. Generally speaking with e-bikes and electric scooters, you're gonna be able to go much further on that first half than the second half. So uh, we'll see where we end up. But uh, anyway, still surprised we were able to make it this far uh, for it to take us down to two bars. So we'll see how long these uh, last two bars last. You know, one thing I'm starting to notice is that the grasshoppers, now that it's getting hot out, they are coming out and there's more and more of them every day. And as you probably know, these things fly like they're drunk. You know, there's no, you know, predictable path. You know, they're going one way and then boom, 90 degrees right in your face. So uh, it's that time of year. All right, so according to the LCD screen, we have officially crossed 40 miles of range on the Engway L22.0. Now, one thing I am noticing is there's about a mile and a half deviation uh, between what the LCD screen says and what the Garmin GPS says. So we'll keep pedaling. Another thing to mention is we are on the last bar. Still pedaling and pedal assist level three. 15.1 miles an hour, no problem still maintaining that speed. And we've been driving around for three hours, 28 minutes. So we will keep going until we start wearing down this battery. I am super impressed. You know, this is a 13 amp hour, it's 52 volt, 676 watt hours. So I was expecting somewhere around 30 miles and 30 to 40 miles in pedal assist level three. And that is what we are doing today. So, uh, you know, I feel like we're close to the end of the ride here. We are at 42.6 miles on the GPS and 44.4 uh, miles on the LCD screen. We still have one bar remaining. We're still able to maintain over 15 miles an hour with one bar remaining in pedal assist three. We've been riding for three hours and 49 minutes. And uh, you know, the bike's still going. Uh, so we'll ride for a little more. See when this thing is gonna stop. It is on its final bar. So, uh, you know, as soon as it's done, I'm gonna get in that air conditioned car and head home. Now, if you're curious what the uh, performance is when you're on the last bar, I will say that, you know, it does take some extra revolutions of the pedal to get the power to kick in. So there's a little more of a delay in that. But other than that, you know, it's able to maintain uh, the speed of its different uh, pedal assist levels. We're in pedal assist three, 15 miles an hour. Pedal assist four, we're still at 20 miles an hour, so. All right, so we are officially at 48 miles on the LCD screen. 
We are at 46 miles on the GPS, and uh, we've still got one solid bar remaining. We are cruising around in pedal assist level three at a brisk 15 miles an hour. So I'm just gonna say this, so far, I am thoroughly impressed with the range on this bike. I did not expect we're gonna be going 45 miles plus on a single charge from a 13 amp hour battery. Yet here we are doing just that uh, in pedal assist level three. Uh, so let me get going here. All right. You know, if you're curious, let's, let's pop it back into level four. And in level four, we are still able uh, to hit, you know, let's see, 18, 19, 20 miles an hour. So I don't know when the end of this battery is, to be honest with you. Uh, so we'll see, uh, you know, how much further we go. You know, at this point, I kind of want to go home, kick back, enjoy a glass of lemonade. Uh, we are four hours and seven minutes into this ride. <laughs> and it is still going so anyways if you want a 40 plus mile bike this is it quick update for you the battery indicator is now blinking we are officially at 50.1 miles on the lcd screen and a little over 48 miles on my watch so i will now be heading back to where we started and i will finish this all with a wrap up of uh, the total distance traveled and all of that fun stuff. Never have I been more excited for a range test to end because it is hot out here. And uh, you know, my butt's getting a little bit sore. So uh, hang tight, I'll wrap this up as soon as we get back to where we started, which is just uh, a bit less than a mile ahead. All right, everybody, so there you have it. That was our range test of the Nguay L20 2.0. We were actually able to squeeze out 49 miles on a single charge of this 52 volt, 13 amp power, 676 watt hour lithium ion battery. I am thoroughly impressed. Uh, we actually went upwards of 500 feet in elevation gain and our average moving speed uh, was just north of 13 miles an hour. So if you had any doubt that the Nguay L20 2.0 can go 40 plus in real world range, well guess what? We are just a mile short of 50 miles on a single charge. Uh, so we'll be doing a hill climb test next and then we'll be following it up with a throttle only range test probably next weekend because I am exhausted right now. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, thank you so much for tuning into Tom's Gadget Garage. We'll see you next time.